Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Fire Emblem Sacred Stones playthrough. Last session we experienced some very interesting things. We saw Grotto attack their own people. We saw Ephraim get stuck at Renval. We uh, used Erica to save her citizens from giant spider attacks. And uh, I personally almost let Franz and Gilliam die, so... A lot of things going on, and now we're at Waterside Renval, where a frame is apparently being held captive. So, uh, let's see what we can do. Before we go uh, check out the castle, I am going to do some uh, quick item management. Because one thing you should know about this next chapter is once you beat this next chapter, you cannot go back to the world map until you finish the second chapter, or the chapter that follows it. So... Uh, you're going to want to make sure you have your stuff ready for two chapters, in this case. Uh, Erica should be fine. Natasha, I don't think you will be fine. Do we have a heal staff? No, we don't. Okay, I'm going to go need to buy one of those. Um, put that away. I'm going to definitely need to get some items with Franz, because he's almost through his uh, sword and lances. Do we have any... Oh, yeah, we have iron lances. I'll just go ahead and give him one of those and get a sword somewhere else. Or I could just try using the Iron Blade for a while. Uh, loot. Um, I don't know if I'll need to get a fire, but I probably should. I think I'm good on arrows. Actually, yeah, I think I should be fine on arrows, so I won't worry about that. Uh, Gilliam. Maybe I should give him a lance. I have a second one, after all. Artur, you're fine. Vanessa, I probably won't use you, to be fair. I uh, may not use Colm either. Joshua, definitely I'm going to use you. Uh, Ross, you should be fine. Okay, so I think I literally just need maybe a Fire Tome, a Heal Staff, and... Yeah, just a, just a Fire Tome and Heal Staff, okay. So yeah, sorry for that little... Uh, item stuff going on there. Just had to make sure I was uh, ready for this next uh, part of the game. I decided to leave that in instead of cut it out because it is kind of important stuff. It's uh, the kind of planning that's necessary for these kinds of games, so that's why I decided to leave it in. Also, uh, one thing you can do if you want to make money, uh, not do that obviously, uh, go to your manage items, go to a unit you're not using, in my case Seth, and uh, just basically get rid of any items you don't really need. Usually items like vulneraries and stuff like that. Because, I mean, we have healers now. And I feel like uh, you want to get the experience from healing as opposed to uh, with vulneraries. So I'm probably just going to start selling these. I'll probably keep uh, vulneraries on all of my other healers. I guess I could have also traded that heal staff to uh, Erica from Molder, but... And yeah, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and sell that. Any other vulneraries? Oh, we have a lot. Oh, I can get rid of antitoxins too. Antitoxins aren't really going to be that useful, I feel like. And yeah, these little uh, cells will end up giving you uh, some pretty good money in the end, so. It's good to have if you need to buy like a lot of items, for example, and you're kind of low on your funds. They're not the most, uh, they don't give you the most money, but, you know, pretty much every unit, or most units, come with vulneraries, so they're good, uh, they're good things to use, I feel like. Okay, I think we're done with that. Let's go ahead and move on to Renval. Rumors say that a frame has been defeated and taken prisoner. Now Erica must find a way to rescue her brother from beneath enemy eyes. Erica's company rushes towards Castle Renval, where a frame is being held. Surrounded by lakes, Renval is a natural fortress, all but unexcelable. A lone bridge held by the enemy is its only entrance. Erica has only one choice. Erica decides to confront Grotto's soldiers head on. Chapter 7, Waterside Renval. Hmm. 
My brother is somewhere inside that castle. Renval is surrounded by lakes. The only entrance is the bridge to the main gate, and it's well guarded. Castle Renval is a natural stronghold, easy to defend and difficult to assault. We must plan our attack carefully. I agree. Prince Erica, please allow me to fight beside you. My elder brother Ford is in there with Prince Ephraim. Sir Kyle, Sir Orson. Let me help you set them free. There is nothing to discuss. We will fight. The hour of your reunion is not far off now. I am yours to command, your highness. We are with you all the way, right, Dad? Don't work yourself into a lather, Ross. In the heat of battle, a good warrior remains calm where lesser men do not. You need anything stolen? I'm your man. Of course, my blade's no joke, either. I'm sure I can help you if you'll let me. I'll keep myself safe. You can't possibly consider fighting without my genius at your side. I have yet to repay you for helping me fight those abominations. Please, let me stand by your side a while longer. It says trouble written all over it, but you, it's all a trap. Bet you it's all a trap. Ah well, my luck's got to turn around sometime, right? May the sacred light surround us and protect us all. Well, princess, let us prepare for battle. Brother, I'm on my way. Let's go. Normally they have that during the last chapter of a game, but this is kind of the penultimate uh, part of this part of the game anyway. So as you can see from the map, we have some uh, interesting points of interest. We have the ballistas. Ballistas are siege weapons you can use. Only archers can use them. And you can basically fire arrows from a distance. It only has five uses though, so you can't use them indefinitely, but they can be pretty helpful if you can get to one uh, soon enough. In fact, they actually have one right here, which, which we might use. And, uh... Got a lot of other units, so let's go ahead and check the inventories. Ooh, he has a knight crest that will promote uh, that'll promote knights and cavaliers. So those, that's a very good item to have. Any good items we can get or steal? Energy ring. I may want to bring Colm after all, just for that. Uh, we'll get that pure water. So let me see, where is that unit? Okay, that unit's all the way over there. Uh, I guess I will bring Colm then just so I can get that item. As for everyone else, uh, probably not going to bring Vanessa. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just uh, replace Vanessa with Ross and I'll be good. Okay, well, let's get ready for this. Let's uh, check the map and make some small changes. I think I'm going to use Joshua. And then Niemi, you're going to follow. Joshua up here so you can get to that ballista by yourself. Um, we're going to use obviously Gilliam in the front line. I'll keep actually Ross nearby too because I want to still get some experience for Ross before it gets too late in the playthrough anyway. And uh, yeah, this should be good. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this is actually attempt number two for me. Uh, the reason why I had to do a second attempt is because Colm died. He died in a very stupid way. I'll probably show a small clip of what happened. Of course, going after Colm. Oh my god, Colm! Colm's gonna die. He's gonna die because... He's gonna die right here. I know it. <sighs> Hold on, guys. But, um, basically, yeah, he, uh, got screwed over by two very, very, very poor percentages. The enemy basically hit with a 24% chance and then a 22% chance. So there was no reason he should have died. He just died because of stupid reasons, basically. So, yeah, it sucked that he died. It's because of that I had to restart the chapter. And because of that, I can maybe get a few different things to happen, too. So maybe it's not so bad that I had to restart. For one, I can actually give Ross some more experience right off the bat, because he can actually handle these soldiers no problem. Uh, my main goal for Ross right now is getting him to level 10 by the end of this chapter, which is more than doable. As long as he kills, like, I think, two more soldiers, and then maybe, uh... 
you know, maybe gets a small little bit of experience from hitting another unit, I think he'll be able to get there. So I should be able to do that, no problem. But we'll see. We'll see what happens, I guess. For now, though, let's get our units ready. Our units ready to move. We're under attack. Rouse yourselves. General Valter's adjutant, Lord Torado, has charged us with defending the castle. Show them the might of Murray's brigade. Don't let anyone near the castle. Okay, Murray, whatever you say. Yeah, freaking Ross doing some good work. Really destroying these guys where it matters most. And I like that. I like to see that. I really, really do. Also, a pretty good level up. The fact that he has 8 strength and 7 defense, I'm honestly really, really enjoying that. I'm actually curious about something. Does he have any... Okay, no, he has the same... Uh, uh, the same stat caps as a normal tier 1 unit. Yeah, whenever you uh, use a tier 1 unit like a Thief, a Knight, Cavalier, any of those first tier classes, uh, aside from Luck and HP, all of their stats will max at 20. But then when you promote, their stats will get a little bit higher, and then their caps will get higher as a result. And I was just saying that, yeah, for being, like, not even a tier 1 unit yet, Ross is having some very good stats. Resistance could be better, not gonna lie, but, uh, eh, it's fine. Again, beggars can't be choosers in the world of Fire Emblem, I guess. It's all RNG-based. Unless you play Path of Radiance and do the uh, second uh, level up uh, stat thing where the stats are the same every single time. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and move forward. I'm going to put Colm right here. Hopefully he doesn't freaking die. I really, really hope he doesn't. If he dies, I'm going to be mad. If he even gets hit by the unit, I'm going to be mad because those units should not be hitting me at like 22%. I know it's possible and like, you know, it's RNG, it's random, you can't really say that it won't hit or anything like that, but still, there are times when you just want things to go through and other times where you don't. What happened before was definitely a case where I did not want that to happen, so it is what it is. Now let's go ahead and kill this guy. I could have actually used my iron weapon so I can give, like, Josh a little extra experience alongside the, uh, actual kill experience, but it's fine. Now, one thing I noticed is that this, uh, mage will actually attack Niemi, not Joshua. I think it's because, uh, the mage technically has a chance to kill Niemi if he activates his critical hit, which probably shouldn't happen. It's only a 1% chance, but... Hey, I mean, Colm died, so I guess I can't really say too much. But again, 1% is much different than 22%. So hopefully it doesn't go through. Okay, well at least I brought all these units forward. That was another problem I was kind of having with uh, my earlier attempt to kind of all the units were staying back. Also, damn it. The enemy actually hits every single time last time, too. So I'm going to probably have to... I don't know. I really shouldn't do this. Yeah, I should... Yeah, I have... There's only a 46% chance that can still definitely hit me, so... I'm definitely going to play it safe right here. As much as I don't want to. Let's only use one steel sword. There we go. Okay, so instead of uh, Niemi getting a level, Joshua got a level on this attempt. Uh, decent level up. Skill and speed is almost always guaranteed to go up whenever Myrmidons level up, so it would have been nice if I got some strength instead of what I did get there. It's fine, though. Okay, I'll be fine there. Uh, one thing I am going to do is I want to make sure that I don't kill that mage that's to the north of my units right now. Because this mage is basically the reason why I'm bringing Colm, as you guys know from my little thing before. Uh, this mage has an energy ring that I want to steal, so 
Let's hope that uh, I can keep him alive long enough for me to steal that. Meanwhile, let's get another kill with Ross. He is at level 9, right? He is, okay. One more kill should put him at where he needs to be. And then I can kind of stop using him. Let's see, 43, 71. Yeah, let's do this. Actually, wait. Can you kill this mage? No, you can't. Okay. Well, one thing I am going to do is, regardless, I am going to... Attack this archer with Archer. Archer the Archer. Those two names. Kind of similar. They kind of rhyme. Artur and Artur. Although I guess they don't technically run. Archer, Artur. You kind of have to like pronounce it in a way to make it rhyme. But you get, you get what I'm saying. Okay, Erica. I could get the kill with Erica, but I'll get a... Attack in with loot first. <clears throat> Didn't do too, a whole lot of damage. Also, now I can't get Erica up there. Poor planning on my part. I guess I'll just use Coleman. I'll actually give him a level up so he can survive. Because apparently he needs to survive in this game. He dies very freaking easily. Even with the, even with 13 speed, he still gets hit by stupid like four skill, five speed fighters, which is just kind of sad and pathetic when you think about it. Oh no, I don't want to put you there. If I put him there, he'd actually draw out this guy, and then he'd start getting attacked by him. So I wanted to avoid that. Also, are those soldiers moving forward? I don't think they are, but I don't know. They seem they they seem strangely closer, which is what kind of worries me a bit. Okay, Ross, let's go ahead and get your last kill before we can uh, not necessarily put you on the bench, but at least put you on the bench in terms of this chapter. Oh, or not. Okay, well, I'm not quite done with Ross. I think if I just do one hit on the boss, I should... Oh, he has a... Well, I can equip the Javelin, though. That's not too bad. <laughs> so, yeah, he's not quite done. He has a little bit of experience to go, unfortunately. Uh, could anyone use this? I guess Colm can. Okay. Let's do this. Wow, you can't double? Okay, your speed is not as good as I thought. Oh, oh now this guy's speed is high, that's why. Okay. I guess that does make a little more sense. I was like, what? How can I not double that? That's something I should easily be able to double, but then... That explains it. Okay. Let's go ahead. Do some damage so we can get loot to actually kill this guy. I also want to get Gilliam up further so he can work on these uh, Myrmidons. I also might take Franz up there to try to finish up that archer so I can still get some experience out of that ballista, that'd be nice. Oh, speaking of ballista, I can actually use this one over here. Okay, well, go back this way, Ross. You're done. Or, Joshua. Josh, Ross. They're male names. Uh, let's go for this guy. Ooh, nice. Good hit. Good hit. I think I could actually still get the boss if I move, like, one space higher, maybe? Let me see. I can't see the range right now. Never mind. I'll just have to look later, then, when it's relevant. 
Okay, so yeah, do be careful of ballistas, though. They can be surprisingly hurtful. But they also have... I don't want to say they have low accuracy, but they won't hit too too often. 